Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. First off, I'd just like to apologize. Uh, I left my other glove at a smoke show's house after a game, uh, per usual. Uh, today we're going to break down for you getting pulled from the net. Getting pulled from the net is a vital skill to any goaltender who routinely gets lit up during the game and has the same stopping power as Donald Trump's conscience. It may seem like a daunting task at first, but today we're going to break it down for you and show you that it's actually very simple. Step one, know when you're getting pulled. If the score is 13-0 with five minutes left in the first period and your coach is requesting you, Buff, get over here! Then it's probably a good idea to get off the ice. Step two, swallow sadness. You probably cost your team the game. Everybody on the bench hates you, including your coach. And your dream for becoming the third string goalie for the Buffalo Sabres will definitely never come true. Be prepared to make yourself look like a breast milk drinking virgin in front of the entire arena. Step three, do a little bit of stalling. Reluctantly lift your face mask off your ugly mug and take your final sips of water. You've got a long humiliating skate ahead of you. Step four, begin the skate of shame. Grip your goalie stick at the top and slowly stride your way to the bench. Make sure you look at your disappointed parents in the stands as you make your way to the bench. Also, shift your eyes at your 90-year-old grandma who drove here from Quebec City to see you play. She'd probably be disappointed too, but thankfully for you, her brain is barely functional and she doesn't even know she's had a hockey game. At this point, you will cross paths with the backup goaltender. Briefly shake his hand and pretend like you're wishing him luck, but in your head, wish that he chokes on a thousand dicks and lets in hundreds of thousands of soft goals. Next, Shift your eyes at your angry coach, who will most likely make you do suicides until you puke and hack up that extra serving of poutine you had for lunch. Step five, get on the bench. Slowly lift your left leg over the boards and follow up with your right. This is the only thing you did correctly all game, so enjoy this brief moment of happiness. Remove your mask completely from your head and place it on the spit soaked floor directly ahead of you. Take your team's cap and place it on your head and listen to coach rant about everything you did wrong. But Buff, what is wrong with you? You are everyone score even though they're going. Ignore every word your coach says. Nod whenever he asks you a question. He's probably going through a divorce or something and is just taking it out on you. Next, spend the remainder of your game contemplating everything you did wrong and why you even play hockey in the first place. Spitefully stare at the backup goaltender and think to yourself, you're lucky I had a shitty night. At this point, you could try to pull with Patrick Waugh and tell your coach, I'm never playing for your fucking team again. But you're no Patrick Waugh and nobody wanted you here in the first place. I'm Guillaume Duclair and this has been Goalie Smarts. Out.